Hello everybody. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Serena and my channel is all about style in our 40s, 50s and beyond and how we can be the best version of ourselves no matter what our age. So if you like subscription boxes, shopping hauls, reviews, unboxings and those type things, please hit that red subscribe button and give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. So today I'm bringing you another Stitch Fix unboxing. Yay. This one is exciting because this is the first Stitch Fix that I have received uh, since they started doing something new, which is sending you a preview. Now, I don't know if they're doing this for everyone or if they're rolling this out slowly, but anyway, I received uh, my preview I don't know, maybe about a week and a half ago, and it had 10 items in it. And in my feedback from last month, I told my stylist, my stylist is Andrea. I mentioned to her that I'm looking for some more um, active wear type things for a couple of trips I have coming up. And so in my preview, out of the 10 items, I really had a hard time narrowing down which five I wanted them to send. I wish I could have picked more, but, um, but you could only pick five. And uh, so there were definitely some more active wear pieces in there for warm weather. And But when my box came, I, I don't know what happened because my box is kind of a weird mix. There are three things in my box that I distinctly remember selecting. And that is the two pairs of shorts and the jacket, which is like an activewear jacket. And then I also received two tops and I do not remember selecting these. I thought I had selected some more casual or activewear type tops because I have two pa a pair of North Face like activewear shorts and a pair of Violet and Roses activewear shorts and the jacket. And then they sent me these two tops, which I never wear spaghetti strap tops. So I feel pretty certain that I did not pick this in my five, um, but we'll try it on anyway. And then the other is this little top with a tie front and bell sleeves. And I feel pretty certain that I would not have chosen this top either. So maybe the items that I chose uh, went out of stock between me choosing them and them shipping out my box and they just substituted these or something. So that's what I have in my box. And um, if you're not familiar with, with Stitch Fix, which most of you probably are, it's one of the original subscription boxes but um, it's a $20 styling fee, or you can choose to do a style pass, which is $49 a year, which is what I have. And that way there's no fee charged per box. It's just your yearly fee. And then if you keep everything in your box, you get a 25% discount. If you don't keep all five items, then there are no discounts. It's just whatever the prices are listed. And um, so they send out your five items, you try them on, and then they include an envelope to send back the things that you don't want to keep. So I do have a link that I'll put below. That's my referral link. If you want to try Stitch Fix and you haven't, uh, use that link and you'll get um, a discount on your first box and I'll get a credit as well. So it's a good way to try out Stitch Fix. So I've got these items to try on. So give me just a minute and I will start with the try on. <laughs> okay, first item is this blouse. They're calling this the Daily Tie Front Blouse. It's by Fortune and Ivy, and it is $42. So not a terrible price, especially not for Stitch Fix. Um, it has this little tie in front, but it's not a big, long, dangly tie. It's not too bad. Um, it has elastic at the neck. It says it can be worn off the shoulder. That could be a cute, fun date night look. Or on the shoulder. I would probably wear it on the shoulder. I just, I just never feel comfortable with things off the shoulder. I don't know why, I just don't. Um, and then it has this bell sleeve. And then the floral. It's mainly just black and white, but then it's got a little pink in there. So there's the top. 
it's cute. Um, it's polyester. It's kind of that scratchy polyester that I'm not a fan of. But it's a cute top, I guess, for going out is what I would wear it for. Um, but th this is just not really my style and um, not something I would, I know I wouldn't reach for this. So for that reason, it's going to be a no from me. But I mean, it's a cute blouse and, um, and this would be right up some people's alley. And they would be able to wear this and wear it comfortably and, and look great in it. I just know me and I know that it's not something I would wear and not something I would reach for. So, um, but it is Fortune and Ivy, the daily top, if it's something you would like to request in your stitch fix, if you like it. So I will just be moving on to the next item. Okay, next item is this top. It's by Paper Moon. It's called the Conway Faux Wrap Top. And let's see, it is $38. And I'll show you a little bit closer up. It's just kind of this dotted fabric. It almost has like a Dalmatian look. And it has the little tie right here. And it's a faux wrap that this part goes all the way under. So you don't have to worry. And this is stitched. So you don't have to worry about anything coming open. Um, it's a cute top. But I just know me. And I know that I don't wear spaghetti strap or anything very often. Um, I don't mind tank tops. I don't mind sleeveless shirts or anything like that but I, I just feel a little exposed in anything that's just spaghetti straps. Um, and this one is not too low cut or anything like that, uh, but I just know me and I know that I would not really reach for this. And for that reason, it, it's gonna be a no, although I do think it's a cute top. I just know it's not for me. And it's a little bit on the small side too. And it's doing something weird right here. I think it's because the fabric is so thin and then I've got on my strapless bra and you can just see these indentions right here um, where my bra is. And I'm not a fan of that. So yeah, it's a cute little top, but I think for me, it's just gonna be a no. Um, it's a little bit small. I feel very exposed in spaghetti strap. It might be cute underneath something, but you know, I'm just not gonna spend my money on, on this because I don't just love it. So, all right, next, I'm gonna put on one of my own little tank tops and then I'm gonna try on these shorts, which is really what I was interested in in this box anyway. So I'll get changed and be right back. Okay, first shorts. These shorts, well, both pairs of shorts, they are um, made out of a performance fabric, quick dry kind of fabric, you know what I'm talking about? So they're thin, you know, they're the moisture wicking and fast drying. They're a tech short, you know, that you would wear for sports or hiking or what I wanted them for is amusement parks. I have two trips coming up, one in May and one in June that involves amusement parks. And you know that whenever you go to an amusement park, it's hot, you're hot, and inevitably you're on a ride where you get wet. So I like to wear things that are gonna dry out quickly. And um, my Nike shorts that I've been wearing for years and years are ready to be retired or, or relegated to just wearing around the house. They, they you know, have, served me well, but I'm ready to, to move on. So these shorts are by um, Violets and Roses. They're called the Lillian Pull-On Utility Short in beige. They're a size six. And yes, they're a, a beige or a really pale khaki. And they have pockets, the pockets, they're not big pockets. I guess a phone would fit in there, but they just do zip. And then there's little pockets on the back and they zip as well. Um, they're just pull on and they have a really wide waistband, which feels really comfy. 
One thing I don't like though, they are such thin kind of clingy material. They really show my mommy pooch right here. Of course, I'd probably wear something that came down a little longer, you know, to cover that up anyway. And I just pulled a plain tank top to try these on with. I would probably wear some kind of active wear top with it, not just a plain tank top. But anyway, just so you get the idea, I do like the length. I think they're kind of flattering for this kind of shorts. They're $48, which may be a little pricey, but usually this stuff made out of this tech fabric is on the pricier side. Um, but yeah, I like them. This is my length of short that I'm most comfortable in. So I do like that about them. And the pockets is not a big deal because I will be carrying a bag with me. Um, I have a sporty little crossbody that has lots of little compartments and pockets that uh, I carry with me if I'm doing anything um, outdoorsy like that. So that's where I'll keep my glasses, my keys, my phone, all that kind of thing. So I don't really need, um, need big pockets. But yeah, let me know what you think about these. If you think these are a good choice. And, oh, while I've got these on, let me try the jacket. The jacket is by Market and Spruce Active. And it is a gray and white stripe. And I don't know what this is made out of, but Y'all, it is just the softest thing ever. Super soft. It's on the thin side, which is fine. This is something I can probably fold up and put in a bag to carry with me, you know? For those hot days when you do have on a tank top or something, but then you're going inside a restaurant and you freeze. So there it is. It's got pockets, the pockets zip. Those are pretty big pockets. So you got those on each side, it's got the zipper. It does have the little thumb holes if you're into that. Sometimes I use them, most of the time I just turn up my cuffs and ignore the thumb holes, but they're there if you want them or need them. And then if you zip it all the way up, it's kind of like a, these tags are a little bit obnoxious. Um, it's kind of like a turtleneck. So that's the jacket. I like it better. Unzipped a little bit with the collar laying down. Yeah, it's just a lightweight um, active wear layering piece. I have one hoodie by North Face that I wear all the time. It's gray and it's a little bit thicker than this. And um, it has pockets and it has some ruching down the sides that just make it a very flattering little jacket. This doesn't have anything like that. Doesn't have any ruching. This is very thin. It's kind of like a thick t-shirt material almost made into a jacket. Ooh, and I'm seeing now how you see every little lump and bump in the back like from my tank top under there. So I don't know. I would like to have another little um, hoodie or active wear jacket since I do wear that North Face one of mine all the time, but I don't know that this one is it. I don't think I'm a fan of this big white stripe down the front where the zipper is. I think I would like it better if it were just all gray. I don't know. Let me know what you think. And this is $58. So there you go. And I'll put on the last pair of shorts. Okay, last item from this fix. These are the Aphrodite shorts from the North Face. And like the other shorts, they are a pull on. 
They do have, so they're stretchy in the waist, but then they do have the drawstring you can tighten up. Um, they've got pockets, bigger pockets. They don't zip. Um, and these are a Bermuda short. These come down, uh, that's probably, it's probably a nine inch inseam on these shorts. So they don't come down to my knees, but almost. Um, so I don't know about that. I don't know if I like them that long. Um, they have a little slits on the side. What I do like about them, the fabric, it's the same kind of, you know, tech quick dry fabric as these, but these, the fabric was just so thin, so thin and clingy. That's what it was. The fabric was just very clingy and super thin. I mean, it's very soft, but very clingy. Um, these, it's not so clingy. And these are in a size medium. which is probably what I would need. These are not the kind of things you want to be too snug. That, that would not be a good look. But I don't know, I don't know if I'm sold on these either. What do you think? I don't know. I mean, they do have redeeming qualities about them. And these are actually less expensive than those. These are $45. And the shorter ones were 48. And if I keep anything from this box, it's going to be a pair of shorts, but I don't know if I like either of these shorts well enough to keep them. But anyway, that's my fix. <laughs> that's everything. The shorts, the little jacket and the two blouses. It's just kind of a random mixture of things I thought this time. Um, half of it is what I asked for with these blouses just kind of thrown in as filler. That's kind of what it felt like. So, um, I don't know. I don't know that I'm going to keep any of this based on this try on. Um, I have my styling pass that I pay one time a year. So it's not like I'm losing, you know, a $20 styling fee this month. if I don't keep any of these items because I don't have that since I just paid that yearly fee. So this may all be going back. But if you guys think these shorts are cute, I still have a, a couple of days to, um, to decide before I have to put this stuff back in the, in the mail. So let me know what you think. And that concludes this stitch fix. And this is stitch fix number 13. I wasn't sure how many of these I had done. And then I noticed that on my letter, it says fix number 13. So this is the 13th one I have received since I started doing this years ago. So thank you all for joining me. Thanks for joining me on my channel. I appreciate you. Appreciate you coming in here and spending part of your day with me. And I do value your comments and your feedback very much. And I appreciate you taking the time to do that. So um, I will put my link, like I said, below for Stitch Fix if you haven't tried it and would like to, you can use my referral link and, and get a credit on your first box. And, um, and again, thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your week, rest of your day. And until I see you next time, have a stylish day. Bye-bye.